A community wanting their voices heard. Is this racism? Yes! Took their message to the streets. What's happening in, in the Chinatown International District, it's just unimaginable, the kind of cultural destruction that's going on. Matt Chan is here because of what King County Council approved back in May, the lease of land across the street from Chinatown International District, with plans to expand a shelter and provide hundreds of beds along with services. Please listen to us. This is definitely the people who pray on the in-house and people who pray on the community, the drug dealers, the prostitution rings. We want to make sure that there is a public safety plan that will address all that. Tanya Wu says that is what's fueling this moment. They're fighting basically for the community. Marching a half mile to King County Superior Court, they filed in and filled up council chambers. We need help. I'm ashamed, frustrated, angry about the seeming indifference of the King County Council to the needs of the Chinatown International District. We want to stay here. This is our home. No! We're just making it very clear that this is not against the in-house. She says it's about preventing a repeat of history. I-5 just devastated the community, divided our neighborhood. This 1964 aerial view from the Museum of History and Industry shows how I-5 construction cut right through. That, building the kingdom, the streetcar line, is all marginalized. It just nips constantly at this community, and it's just draining it, so there's not much left. That's why he says this time around, he wants county leaders to listen. Until they come to the table and hear our voices. Is this racism? Yeah. The way we want to be engaged, we're not going to stop. And there are around 7,500 people living outside in King County, and the county says that's why more shelter space is needed. In a statement today, Councilmember Joe McDermott said in part that he does believe the city, county, and CID community can come together and find a path forward. Live tonight in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.